Hello guys, Colin here. In the world of delay, there is nothing sweeter than the sound of a tape echo. However, the real vintage units are delicate, expensive, and require a lot of maintenance to keep them running on top form. So it's no surprise that pedal manufacturers offer their take on the unique sound in much more robust and cheaper formats. One such unit is the Utopia by Anasounds, a French pedal manufacturer who individually build each of their pedals by hand. Aside from the stunning laser engraved mahogany facade, this pedal complements its simple control layout with some internal trim pots to just a whole bunch of other parameters. But let's start at the beginning. What is a tape echo? Tape echo is a particular style of delay that replicates the inaccuracies of old mechanical tape units. These would record audio to a reel of magnetic tape and then play back that audio a short time later, allowing the listener to hear the initial sound, followed by the repeat. Using tape in this fashion has its limitations, however. Recording at high volume levels produces tape saturation, giving a warm, overdriven quality to the sound, while the myriad of moving parts introduces small speed variations in the tape, which manifest as pitch fluctuations in the repeated sounds. Indeed, deliberately speeding up or slowing down the tape would result in wild changes in pitch. It is these characteristics that are recreated here in the Utopia. The modulation switch adds pitch fluctuations to the repeats, the rate and depth of which can be selected internally, and that warm, saturated quality is ever present, with the sound degradation becoming particularly pronounced when the delay time is maxed out. The external control structure is pretty standard for most tape echo pedals. Mix adjusts how prominently the delayed signal is compared to the dry signal. Repeat selects how many repeats we hear. All the way down gives us just one repeat, and all the way up gives us infinite feedback, ideal for getting the pedal to self-oscillate. And delay determines how much time there is between the delayed signals, all the way from 0 milliseconds to 400 milliseconds, and you can get up to 600 milliseconds by switching the internal switch. For sounds, I'm going to be using this Orange Rocker 15 Terror. The Utopia will be in the Amps effects loop. And for the guitar, we have this 1975 Ibanez Rocket Roll, which I'm in the process of restoring. Ambient Soundscape. Longer delay and repeat settings achieve some wonderful soundscaping qualities, particularly if paired with a big reverb. From here, self-oscillation is possible purely by messing around with the knobs in an artsy fashion. This is how you get that surreal spaceship vibe. Cascading rhythm. If you want to get that dotted eighth cascading rhythm sound that I'm absolutely garbage at playing, then a high mix, moderate repeats, and timing the delay to the speed of your playing will get you there. This is something that's much easier with a digital delay that has tap tempo and note subdivisions, but it's quite satisfying to be able to coax it out of an analog tape echo like this. Slapback. Slapback delay was the first use of tape echo and it's particularly useful if you want to get that rockabilly vibe. 
For this, you want to have a short delay time with very few repeats. <laughs> Kanja Club. By engaging the distortion channel on the amp, we can use the Utopia to build thick lead lines. I typically like to have longish delay times here with few repeats and mixed so that it's not overpowering the original signal. <laughs> a look at some of the uses of Tape Echo featuring the Utopia and if you want to find out more about the Utopia or any other Anasounds pedal then there'll be a link in the description of this video. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me then you can hit the subscribe button and that will notify you of all new content as it comes out. My Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff if you wish to support me and there's other videos you might not have seen. But that's all for now guys, keep it loud and I'll see you later. <laughs>